So I'm going to, here's a quick video, um, and we're going to talk about backlash in gears, okay? So we have a, a large gear driving a smaller gear. Uh, the large gear is uh, 40 tooth, and the small gear is what? What is it? 20 teeth. 20, 20 teeth, okay. Now, and uh, CJ is after setting up um, a feeler gauge, isn't that right? And you have a piece of steel bolted to the frame, and we're going to measure backlash. So what is, um, what is backlash between two gears. What about John? Why don't you answer this? Um, backlash between two gears is the amount of play. It's the amount, it's the amount of player, the amount of clearance. Yeah. And we're after saying that uh, it's a, it's a, it, it happens. It's a, we, you know, we want it, uh, it can't be too big, but it can't be too small. And I know there's a website, I think it's the American National Standards of Gears, and these people have, um, they're after tabulating the amount of backlash, which is allowable. Isn't that right? Yeah. Now, uh, with two spur gears, if we read the, the, our notes, it says that it can be, be between 5 to 20 thousandths of an inch. Isn't that right? So how do we measure backlash, uh, CJ? Can you tell us? Well, you're going to hold the gear. Yep. And you're going to spin the smaller gear. Yeah. And watch so, the dial. So what you did is you set up that feeler gauge, and the feeler gauge has, has a spring on it, and you're after basically bringing that tip up beside the second gear and you can see here we're just moving this back and forth and I think what is it you're going for between zero and zero and eighty so you're going between zero you've about twenty five thousandths of backlash there yeah. okay now that's a little bit too much isn't it so how do we how do we minimize that backlash how do we change that you have to bring the gears 